Hey kiddos. So this week we're going to talk about measurement. And so the first thing we wanted you to do is practice measuring with a ruler or a tape measure. If you have one at home. So this is a tape measure. This side, the yellow side is inches. And then the white side is centimeters. Notice inches are a larger unit than a centimeter. And then if you don't have something to measure with like that, you can use one item and just keep measuring with that. So like if you have a shoe, if you want to see how long this board is with a shoe, you just like a ruler, you would start the edge of it at the edge. Alrighty. And then you would, you could put your finger where it ended. Then you start it again where your finger was. So then you keep going down. So this board is over three shoes. So if you want to call this a foot, you know, it's not a foot as in a measurement, but you can call that a, or a shoe as a unit. Well, I'm going to show you how to measure with a measuring tape or a ruler. Now this one, the way it is made, the very edge of this silver right here is the zero on both sides. Now some rulers, the edge is not the zero, but we can practice measuring. So going to measure the width of this book. If you do it in inches, you can hold it here. It's at the very edge and then it is five and a half inches. So if you notice it's between the five and the six and it's at five and a half. I know this is upside down. Then we can measure the width in centimeters. So you still have it at the edge and in centimeters it's exactly 14 centimeters. Then we know that the width is shorter than the length. The length is longer here. So we can measure this. And it's a little over 20 centimeters long, if you can see that up close. Then in inches, it was five and a half by exactly eight. So it ends at the eight. All right, so that's how you measure using inches or centimeters. You can measure things like that. You can measure water bottles, how tall it is. So put it at the zero. It's 20 centimeters tall. It's hard to measure the width because it's round, but because it's a tape measure, you could actually go around it and that's called circumference. So it's almost eight inches around as a circumference. And so then I just wanted to show you how to measure. Now find a ruler at home or a tape measure. So this, you might not have this type of tape measure at home, but you definitely might have something like this at home. Okay, this one only has inches. So this tape measure only has inches. There's nothing on the back. These you wanna ask an adult because it's a little bit, it could be sharp on the edges and you don't wanna hurt your finger while you let it slide in. But you might have seen these. So just today practice measuring something around the house, measure a book you have, maybe measure a window opening, and that's just something to practice with inches or centimeters. Hopefully this was useful and I'll talk to you guys soon.